A group of NICU babies were evacuated from Corpus Christi and flown here to North Texas this afternoon. Todd Unger was there when these tiny babies arrived. Todd? Is it quite a sight tonight here in Fort Worth? All of this possible because of hospital staff here from Cook Children's as well as from hospitals in Dallas and Houston. And tonight, indeed, it does look like these NICU babies, these critically injured children, will avoid the worst of this hurricane. Critical moments tonight in Fort Worth as crews rush a NICU baby off an evacuation flight from Corpus Christi. The little one is bound for Cook Children's Medical Center, where at least 10 such babies will arrive in the coming hours to avoid Hurricane Harvey. The problem keeping them there is that the ventilators that they're on, the life-saving ventilators, um, would not be able to be maintained without electricity. Children's Health in Dallas is pitching in their flight crew, too. We got an inside look at their jet earlier, equipped with IVs, breathing tubes, and ventilators before it set off for the coast. All we know is we're picking up six babies. We don't know what they have. We don't know what their dysfunction or diagnosis is, but we're fully equipped to pick up any of them. All of the evacuated babies from Corpus will be housed in Cook's Level 4 NICU. They've handled situations like this before. Think Hurricanes Katrina and Ike. Well, it might be one nurse per baby. It might be one nurse per, per two babies. We stand ready to accept newborns that require any type of critical care. More than 100 NICU patients can be here at any one time. And with Harvey still yet to make landfall, it's possible even more babies in desperate need could arrive over the weekend. Now, you might be asking yourself there at home, what about mom? What about dad, a brother, a sister? Well, these planes simply are not equipped to handle that many passengers, so we understand a lot of the family members are driving in in the morning. Reporting live tonight in Fort Worth, Todd Unger, Channel 8 News. Our thanks to you, Todd, and travel advisories.